Right, it's uh, day two. And we're back in the gearbox. And we're trying to work out if that's in neutral. And when that goes that way, and that goes that way. So for, forward is fourth and backward is fifth. And we're trying to work out the distance it's traveling to make sure they're equal. Because when it's in fourth, it's jumping out of gear. There's no damaged teeth. They've all got the same amount of play in them. And we just don't know whether that when that goes forward you have to rock the back wheels to get the gears in and then that goes forward and that and we're trying to work out the distance other than that we can't see anything wrong with it and we're stumped so that's where we are at the moment Bob's overseeing the job from the back window and uh, we're trying to get this, uh, what do we say that is, PTO slider. Yeah, ground drive. Ground drive. Trying to get that back in. We've decided we can't find anything wrong with it. So we think the synchro mesh is a little bit worn, so we're going to leave it. I'm going to put it back together <laughs> until it needs a clutch. And then when we do a clutch, because you've got to take the front end of the tractor off to get this out, we think we don't know but we think so we've decided to leave it till we do a clutch and then do it all at once oh big tools are coming out now ah, it's gone isn't it it's gone it's got it yeah yeah you've got it you got around it no i can get it now i think got it haven't you I have now, yeah. Yeah, you've got it now because you slid that thing back. There, yeah, you can feel resistance on it now. So I want that to... Yeah, they all line up, don't they? Mm. All them are lined up. All the selector, se selector slides. What's your next part now then, huh? Um, once all them are in, it's, it's some gasket seal around it and then the lid on. Well, can you put a gasket seal after you've piddled about getting all these in line? No. That bugger's not in line, that one, isn't it? That must be how he took it out, is it? Yeah, that's how it come out. I'm sure it, I'm sure it was. Right, this is going to be tricky. How did you? Did it work? Pulling at wrong handle, like that. Yeah. Want tapping there, don't they? Really? Yeah. Have you got an hammer? No. There's a little hammer in your box, Bob. If that's big enough, or do you want a big one? Where's, where's one with homemade handle? That's Bob's oh. there. Yeah. Yeah. It just only wants that big, doesn't it? Tight enough, isn't it? Yeah, it weren't that tight, it was just we couldn't get anything in to crack them off. It's got a spring washer on anyway, so. That's the uh, gearbox cover back on. Right, we've got the gearbox top on, we've got the selector guides in we haven't got the gear mechanism in yet but what we're going to do we're going to jam it in gear with a screwdriver just at the back of there and uh, don't try this at home don't try this at home whatever you do we're going to put a screwdriver in and we're going to lock it into fourth gear and we're going to start the tractor up and we're going to send our test pilot down the hill and uh, he's going to see that it jumps out of gear once he lets his foot off the throttle. If it doesn't, then we know that it's something to do with the gear stick selector mechanism that's worn. So we're just eliminating that. We've spoke to a technical specialist and he says that's how he tests them. 
means going in reverse. Uh, if not, then we've got to break the gearbox at the back of the back axle there, strip everything off and put it on stands and pull the front end of the tractor out with the gearbox attached to it so we can get the gears out of the back, which really we don't want to be doing. So uh, the Duke's getting in. He's our brave test pilot. He's, yeah, I'm all right there, but uh, you got that big blue, you want that big blue screwdriver, don't you? Yeah. There you go. Don't lose that on the road. So he's going to jam it in fourth gear, start it up, and away he goes. That one there, the one oh, furthest one. away. So it wants, if your gear stick's going backwards, that's going forwards. Here goes our brave test pilot. We've wedged it in fourth gear. And he's away. It's what? That's not fourth gear. Are you in low box or high box? Is that in low box or high box? Yeah, how do you alter that then? Great in low box now. Right, we think we're in eye box now. Well, we think we're in fourth gear, high box. And we're going to send him down the hill. Oh, we've stopped again. Hang on. We're going to send him down the hill and see that he lets his foot off the throttle while it's in gear if it stays in. Right. I think we've got it. He's gone into neutral. Gone into neutral. Yeah. Right. That that's better, isn't it? That's high gear, yeah. That's four five. Yeah. He'll be ready for a cup of tea, Bob, when he comes back, won't he? We can hear him, we can hear him coming back down the hill. It's out of gear. Tin, is it? Now that's in gear. That's in, that ring gear, that ring gear, that. No, he, he, I don't know what we're doing. It's in gear now because it's driving. Here he comes, test pilot's returned. Back wheel, that back wheel looks wet, doesn't it? Yeah, flashing some oil out there. That's it, yeah. That's right, Dad. Oh, no, this one's holding it up now. Let's try that. No. No. I'll come back then. Keep what, on. same lever? Yeah. That one looks wrong. Whoa, there. Down with it. It's not that centre shaft, is it? That centre shaft's down, quite lined up, is it? 
Just move him. I'm down there like this. Well, it might be in there. Just riddle your bit awkwardly in there. Right, Zeta, 6421. It's back there in the workshop. If you remember last week, we had all the gearbox out. Well, let me turn the camera around. All the floors back in, all the gear selectors back in and the whole tractors back together and working because we had it out uh, on Saturday, uh, rowing up for the idiot bricks that we didn't quite make. So we had to ram bale and silage it instead. So everything's back together. We've established around we've established it's not the gearbox we don't think we think it's the cab mounts that mount the cab to the chassis one of them has basically the rubbers perished away and as you're driving the cab's dipping up and down and uh, it basically jumps out of gear because the gear stick is fixed to the cab and the linkage is fixed to the gearbox which is independent to the cab and that just wobbles about wherever it wants and as soon as you let the throttle off it jumps out of gear which is frightening when you're going down a hill with a trailer on the back but uh, sort some cab mounts out and that should be mended so that's all back together so that's it yeah it's coming up so if you enjoyed the video doing the Zeta gearbox give us a thumbs up click like click subscribe and there's some more videos coming for you to watch so that's it and it's a beautiful day just don't know what's gonna happen see you on the next one